Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Chamo here, bringing you the next episode. My Things of 15, career mode with Chelsea. Today, we have three more matches against Fulham at home in the league. Fenerbahce in the group stage of the Champions League and then Swansea away in the league. But in the last episode, it was a pretty decent one to be brutal, to be honest with you. We're picking up more wins as well. We were drawing against Basel in the Champions League and then we beat Newcastle 2-1 at home and Crystal Palace 2-0 away. I'm hoping that, that uh, those, those uh, results can spur us on to get nine more points in the next three matches. Um, I am also thinking about changing the formation back to something like a 4-2-2-2. Uh, two, two, two. So we've got uh, the four defenders, the two CDM players, and the two CAM players, and then the two strikers in Shikawi and Costa. Because they're two great players, as we know. Scoring, two, scoring great goals, scoring for fun basically at the moment, if you can call it that. Um, but the team, we will, you will see the team at the beginning of the first match, which is against Fulham. So let's just jump straight into it. Right then, guys, for this first match against Fulham at home, we have Courtois and Gold, Ivanovic, Zuma, Aka, and that's pretty quite at the back match. And Fabregas in the CDM positions, William and Oscar in the cam positions. And then Diego Costa and Yassin Shikawi partnered up front together. As I said, we are at home for this match um, against Fulham. Now, Stecklenberg and Galvoza, Morabieta, Hutchison and Kavanagh at the back. Chichi and Telekloff, uh, Heidman, Kachiniklik and McCormack and Andy Carroll up front in a standard 4-4-2. We got on a break after 20 minutes. Apart from that, it's pretty poor cost. They're going around the defender like you weren't even there. But shoots straight at the keeper. 10 minutes later, Zuma coming forward. And how is that far forward? I have no idea. Lays it off to Costa. Gets another shot away. But Stecklenburg matches it with yet another save. Get a corner. We whip it, try and whip it straight out to Aspili Quetta. And uh, it's a nice long range shot. Deflected over the keeper. Settled into the back of the bloody net. And... Uh, of all people, it's Aspinacueta to score it. A beautiful corner towards him. Just touches it and bang. Keeper would have had that if the defender hadn't got his head to it. But it is now 1-0. Chelsea Costa coming forward on the brink of half time. To try to strip for that lead. Still the same one it was earlier. Shooting the ball straight at the keeper. Uh, but to keep running and got to that. And I think that would have been a goal. William using the pace he's got and the power to get the ball back. And uh, a lovely bit of play. And Shikawi was very unlucky not to score there. Uh, in the second, at the start of the second half, Shikawi over to Costa. First time shot off the touch, but uh, straight at the keeper. As again, it's not been the best of games here against Fulham. You'd think it would be better. Um, but Costa, after that, 25 minutes gone, hits the post. Very unlucky indeed. He's just not having that goal scoring game, as he has to be honest. But Oscar comes off uh, Andre Schiller as he was a little bit tired with 14 minutes left on the clock. And uh, Costa going forward once again, fires wide, story of his game really. And uh, that is basically how the game ended, I think, really. It was uh, a 1 0 win for Chelsea at time in the league, another key three points. And uh, Fenerbahce in the Champions League are next. And as you can see, Costa, that's the replay of Costa's finesse shot that hit the post. Um, but that was a good three points, which closer towards the top of the league table. And uh, that was uh, a good, a decent win. A, a, a game we had to win. Losing to Fulham is something we didn't really want. Um, but as I said, Van Amachi away on next. It's the top two battle. If we lose this and Zenit St. Petersburg win, then it's going to be us going down to third. There's the Van Amachi lineup for you. At the, the maestro, that is MNEK. He's up front for them. And. Uh, uh, playing in a 4-2-3-1 formation. And uh, I don't know what changes I made for the team for this game. But as you can see, it's Courtois and Gull, Ivanovic, uh, Zuma and Ake and Aspen the Quetta. But Ramirez coming in for Fabregas at the CDM position. Schürrle starts. It's ahead of Oscar, Yassin, Chikawi and Costa. Partnered up front once again. Now this game wasn't really was really bad on my part in my opinion because I selected the two kits that were selected were too contrasting. I could not tell what player was who. Um, but they get a corner after five minutes straight at the keeper. 
should have done a lot better on the winning Fenerbahce who go 1-0 up. Ah, they come on the attack once again. Fenerbahce on the front foot constantly in this first half, especially uh, forcing Courtois in all kinds of saves. All, all kinds of saves. Uh, but they get a corner from this 20 minutes gone. And uh, we managed to clear it away eventually. Um, but a good tackle there from Matic. And uh, we get a free kick here with Sherlock. Very close to going in. The keeper just gets his hand, hand down to it on the line. And uh, Fenerbahce come on the attack once again. 30 minutes gone. Dancing around the defence. Gets another shot away. Forcing Cordwell. Yet another fantastic save. They get a chance on the brink of half time here. Let's give it past the defenders once again. Courtois makes another save. Give them yet another corner. It's literally Fenerbahce and their corner taking ability in this one. But they come on the attack in the third, at the start of the second half. Cordwell with probably the best save of the match uh, to this point. Still 0-0. Uh, MNEK coming forward now. Whips it into the box. And uh, that's a nice looping header to fire. Fenerbahce in front with uh, about 20 minutes left on. 20, 20, 20 to 15 minutes left on the clock. Remy comes on for Diego Costa, I believe. Nope, Yassin Shikawi. Um, being... Ramirez got a lovely little run there. Gets blocked, unfortunately, as you saw there. Remy coming forward now to try and restore some pride in the team. Let's try and make sure we stay in the top two. But he unfortunately fires wide. And that is basically how that game ended, really. Um, it ended with us losing that Champions League game 1-0. As a result of that, we went, we dropped down to third in the group table. So beating Zenit St. Petersburg is what we need to do in our final group stage game. But for Swansea are the final match in this episode. Obeng, Fabianski, Fernandez, Zambrano, Taylor, Britton, Kiesung, Young, Dyer, Routley, Popov and Bonnie make up their starting 11 for this match, um, which is at the Liberty Stadium. And uh, we have Coleman at right back this time, Ivanovic at centre back, and uh, Kiesling coming in for Diego. Costa Fabregas starts ahead of Ramirez once again. We're still using that 4 2 2 2 formation with the two cabs. We've got to start brightly with Yasin Shikawi after 20 minutes. It was pretty boring, apart from that uh, in the opening 20, but that was a poor shot from him. Switched it over the play 20 minutes later to Seamus Coleman. Plays it out wide to Andre Schurler. Whips it straight in. Keesling's on the end of it with a bit of a tame header. Uh, into the second half. It was very a very, very boring first half, but Swansea did very well there. And uh, they are, were very unlucky not to score. That tackle there from Coleman was absolutely fantastic. Oscar coming forward now, 65, 65th minute. Very lucky to score that. How, I mean, if, if if the defender hadn't got a touch, that was a definite save for the keeper. Or it was going wide. Um, so, um, it was a, a well-taken goal for Oscar. Good opportunity taken. Um... But the defender just, as you saw there, just got in the way. But Remy coming in, nine minutes left on the clock, using all the pace that he's got, just leaves the defenders for dead and uses every single bit of power he has to strengthen our lead and secure all three points. Um, away at Swansea, eight minutes left, and that is pretty much how it ended, I think. Really, you know, we we ended the game with another three points. Um, Oh, this time away at Swansea, but they do get a goal back. Very well taken. First time volley from Swansea, but it did end 2-1. And, uh, yeah. Another key three points in the league season. And uh, this time it's away at Swansea. Next time out, we have Norwich. But we will see that in the uh, post-match reaction. 2-1 the final score between Chelsea and Swansea at the Liberty Stadium. <laughs>